all right guys roll out here welcome back we're going to be reacting to something a bit different today well this is the first kind of react video i've done um if you like it let me know in the comments but this is horror river ballad by matt heckler who i believe is a bluegrass kind of you know banjo and guitar kind of artist and not really familiar with that too much but um we'll see what we've got here see if i like it see how it goes and um enjoy so yeah let's put it on I'm going to tell you something, something I've always remembered. If you study and try to learn something as if you have no talent, and then you apply it as if you didn't study, that's the way to do it. It's <laughs> like all the, the carving patterns I do. I don't Apply it as if you didn't study. So can I just freehand it, I'm guessing? Any of the, the older. These look nice, though. They're lovely. Very well crafted, as you can see. I don't know who the guy is, though, but props. I did a couple before, and it's already been done, and I like them, and I appreciate them. That, the way people play banjo is crazy, like, they just go do, like, it's so effortless, it's like, that must take years to kind of perfect, because I've tried playing a guitar, and it's like, like, your hands feel weird, so props to them already, this is sounding cool in the background. voice coming right from here right from like inwards it's not like high it's like oh contrary to loop, like amazing <laughs> sounds cool so far like that building is so nice like it comes right from the soul almost you can hear it like a lot of these singers these days they just sound flat and dead like studio recorded it's so refreshing to hear like this kind of emphasis and passion and power behind music is i miss it i miss it The energy and passion here is absolutely undeniable. Um, the way he's talking about the pines, this forest, the like love and kind of women in it, it's all so emotionally charged and driven. I've, it's been a while since I've heard music that really kind of grips you and you feel it. You know, when you, when you create music, it should be about passion, emotion and energy and soul. It shouldn't just be like, you know, dead end kind of nothing in it just producing over and over again making a beat here you go like it should be with this energy and passion that's what people feel it's what they want out of music they want that passion they want that emotion they want to feel something when they're um listening to music it should not just be so monotone and dry and i think bluegrass or if this is bluegrass it's really bringing back that emotion man it needs to be more prevalent in music today It's like he's playing like 10 notes at once as well like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like it's so quick and fast you know as a producer i kind of i can't even imagine how you put this in a daw it, the, it would just like you know crazy notes everywhere and the, to play with that human velocity as well is probably very difficult so loving this so far and um, the banjo and that just southern kind of voice is beautiful And you can see he's just climbing up and down the skits like doo -doo 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 -doo, like it's going up and down and each note is like crafted perfectly in there it's not just kind of willy-nilly it just sounds beautiful Just listen to that. Listen to how that sounds. Like, like it just builds, man. You feel it. I mean, listen. 
Just this one part, just listen. Of the ten point, my tail Energy is undeniable. Been long for those better times. I wish I could ease your mind. Like the wind blowing wild through the lonely pine. See, when you produce and record music like a lot of pop music today, it loses that great, that kind of live emphasis of emotion and passion. And like, you can, you can tell it so instantly. Like, if an artist is really kind of putting their work and effort and passion into something as opposed to just dead kind of lame slap down i'll use sam smith in, as an example just boring kind of effort not like effortless in a way that is good but just effortless like oh yeah i'm making a pop song and i'm singing about the devil and it just doesn't sound real or like you don't connect to it there's no emotion in it but music like this you know i don't know how much views it's got one million views it's it should it deserves a lot more like at least 10 million views or something on this it just the passion and energy is it's what music's about it's why i got into music in the first place it's so you can convey that emotion that passion and that power and that kind of heart-wrenching feeling you know towards others and we can relate and you know go through sounds of music together and kind of emulate that emotion kind of in music and it's just beautiful i mean this one section here i mean that's just absolute pure passion and emotion in that listen you've seen his face you know you can't fake this stuff Central Piedmont and Chapel. I don't know what that means, but wow. Strong stuff. Yeah. Man. I wrote it. It's the first song I've written in a bit. I was like, I don't drink anymore. And I was like, I don't want to write a song about anyone dying, digging a grave, drinking whiskey, falling in love, or breaking up. <laughs> like I just want to have a song that's mm. geographically relevant and some good positive reinforcement mm. in the world. Said it there himself. Absolutely what it's about. You know, you shouldn't want to make music about killing people and you know, stabbing people, like, the drill movement is so outdated, it's stuff like this, like, good, this is why people listen to music, I mean, if you want to listen to music and relate to hurting people, it's, it's not cool, it's not interesting, it's just a kind of waste of energy, you know, listening to this and feeling good and kind of being positive and reinforcing the good things about life, you know, friends and love and just having good times, you know, that's what it's about, and yeah a beautiful song by a very 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 talented artist and i look forward to hearing more blue gla blue grass in the future um if you like this video please let me know leave a like subscribe share all that good stuff and yeah let me know in the comments you guys like bluegrass i know my audience is mostly teenager producers and um probably not heard anything like this maybe you loved it maybe you hated it who knows but i'm definitely a big fan and i will be listening to more in the future thank you guys for watching See you in the next one I do.